Hello and welcome to Talking Spirits online development class. I'm Tracy Sharman and today it's going to be a brief video but it's about asking for help. Often in readings when I see my clients they do feel lost like we all do at times but the one thing they seem to forget to do and I need to remind them is to ask for help and yes that's to ask friends and family but it's also to ask spirit. So if I'm feeling low or lost, or if I need to give a client who's feeling like that some advice, I will say to them, ask spirit. So whether that be guides, angels, or someone that you love and know in spirit. So always remember to do this because actually it's just that you need to ask rather than assume that they're gonna come in and help you. You have to give them permission first. And the best time I find to do this is when you're quiet. So sometimes in bed, if you're feeling anxious before you go to sleep, it's not a great way to try and start the evening's night's sleep. So I say to angels, can you help me? I, I don't like feeling like this. I've identified perhaps what's bugging me, but I'm left with the feeling and I can't shift it. And when I ask angels or loved ones, my nan perhaps in spirit, that feeling always goes and it's replaced with a very subtle but lovely mellow feeling. And sometimes we need answers because we just can't see the woods for the trees. And again at night is the best time I find to do that. If you have something that's bugging you and you can't seem to get the answer or you need a bit of guidance about it, ask the question before going to bed. And in the morning, although the answer might not be glaringly obvious, a solution might present itself, certainly then or throughout the rest of the day. And I know that's, that's quite a common one to do, that people have been using that for years. But the thing is we forget, we actually forget to ask. Sometimes writing down a question on a paper, this piece of paper, and then waiting for an inspired answer. So you can sit in again in a quiet moment and breathe, write down things that are troubling you. Ask someone for help, a spirit, angel, and then wait to feel inspired for an answer. And I guarantee if you relax, an answer through writing will present itself. But often I also find with clients is that they are so low and depressed that they can't find a way out of that problem. They can't chivy themselves up. It's just not that easy as we know. It's not a matter of like, come on now, get on with it. Of course it's not. So usually spirit will use the opportunity of a reading to come through and reassure that person. But you don't necessarily need to do that. It's not about promoting readings here. This is about you finding ways of helping yourself. So again, if you're feeling despair, please, please remember to ask for help. When you're ready to stop feeling like that, it's because you're thinking, I need help. Then you can ask. And they may take a few days, but they will listen and they will respond and that feeling will start to lift. And you'll be getting information and signs and ideas on how to improve how you feel and your life. It's not a lightning bolt strike. You're not gonna suddenly go, I feel better, that's it, that's done. Because often than not, you need to learn something from it. But you don't need to be left with this this excruciating feeling that clients often have of just feeling so low. So if you are in that place, please remember to ask for help, possibly before going to bed. Let angels fill you with that secure feeling, that love feeling, breathe that in and go and have a nice sleep. And then in the morning, trust that spirit are gonna come through and give you some kind of help, be it that day or a few days later. And the more you see that there is a response, the more you'll trust that process and you'll start to believe and do it more regularly. I think it's when we truly need help, spirit really up their game and come in and give that help. And sometimes they influence nicely the words of people around you. So something someone says makes you think, oh, I was asking that the other night and I never got a response. And yet, funny enough, my friend has just said, kind of what I was asking, she's replied. You see, so the signs will be there, but don't suffer on your own, it's, it's not a good place to be. Know that there is help, just remember to ask for it. 